dreamed I was flying on the back of a big bird. When the bird came in for a landing, I got off. And I was confronted by a snake. And the snake asked me for my ticket. And I said, I didn't have one. And the snake said, well, where'd you get on? I says, I don't know. And he said, well then, I guess I'm gonna have to charge you the full fare. I said, that doesn't seem right. Can I speak to someone higher up? And he went and got his boss. And she was a tall lady. And she had no nonsense about her at all. She said, pay up or I'll call the cops. Ah, well, you know, I got a little bit angry, but I didn't want her to call the police on me, so I tried to contain myself. And I got on all the money that I had, and I said, okay, how much is it gonna cost me? And she said, $200. The 200 bucks, that's ridiculous. There wasn't even a dining car. But she wasn't kidding about the cops, though, because the next thing, there was a policeman there, and he laid out this long rap about reading me my rights and everything like that. But the gist of it was that I either pay this lady 200 bills or he was going to give me the third degree. So I said to him, look at officer, I don't have $200. But that was the wrong thing to say because then he got real mad. And he started beating up on me with both hands. Ow, ow, cut it out, ow, ow. Suddenly there was a big parade coming by. There was a man in the middle of the parade and I thought I recognized him. Could it be him? Was it? Yes, it was the Pope. And the Pope was walking in the middle of the parade. He was blessing all the people on different sides of the street and everything. And I'm trying to get his attention and I call out, Pope, help, Pope, help. But the Pope couldn't hear me because all the mothers were holding up their children for the Pope's blessing. Papa, Papa, bless me, Bambino, Papa, Papa. And then the Pope made a speech. He said, as your Pope, I am a fisher of men, but instead all I catch are used condoms. And then a Coney Island whitefish flew by, whoa! And the Pope hooked it and reeled it in. And then the Pope hit me on the top of my head with his fishing pole. And I felt a transformation. It was like this white light was filling up my head. And I looked up and it felt like this kind of growing holy fungus was above me. I looked up into the sky and there was this fiery shooting star just flying by. And then the Pope came right up to me and he looked me right in the eye. And his eye got real big and he said, Tom, you know something? I'm tired of all this touring. From now on, I'd like you to be the Pope. Oh, God, and a big wind came up and blew everything away. And I stood in the middle of the street as the wind buffeted me. Oh, and in the sky, there was the sound of thunder. Oh, and lightning was crackling. Ah, and from the distance, I could hear the Pope's voice saying, seize the light. Tom. And all of a sudden, there was a big thunderbolt coming out of the sky, landed right at my feet, and I grabbed it, and I was transformed. And I became the alien pope with my own alien vestment and my own alien headdress. And I even had my own personal pilot for my alien pope mobile. And I made a speech. Disciples of the earth, as your pope, not only shall I be a fisher of men, but a fisher of women, too. And I want to take this opportunity to extend the rights of priesthood to all women, everywhere. Oh, there was a lot of noise and cat calls at that. People were booing and shouting, Antichrist, Antichrist, go home, go back where you came from. And I said, hey, why not? You can't live in the Middle Ages forever. And people were saying, fie, fie, devil, devil. And I said, hey, lighten up. After all, if the Pope can't change his mind, who can? And I changed into a woman. And I became the first woman pope, Pope Peggy the First. And I walked around and I blessed them all. I gave them all my first blessing. And the big bird came back to take me on my world tour. And as I was preparing to get on the big bird, a bunch of reporters came around, asked me questions. And one of them said to me, alien pope, why would you overthrow centuries of tradition? And I said, Mr. Donaldson, we live in an age of miracles, and even a pope can see the light. <laughs>